And broadcast journalist Barbara Walters died last night at her home in New York. Walters was a trailblazer for women in television news and went on to help shape the field into what it is today. I have a new colleague to welcome, Barbara. Barbara Walters was the first woman to anchor a network evening news show. In short, Mr. Secretary... Her I interviews not only made, made news, they sometimes helped process. make history. In 1977, her first joint interview with the leaders of Israel and Egypt foreshadowed their peace treaty. And now let us begin the debate. She moderated two presidential debates, while at the same time becoming both synonymous with the big, glitzy celebrity TV interview. Are you at all worried that you will lose some of the country fans? And a pop culture icon herself. Welcome to Baba Wawa at Lodge. The subject of a Saturday Night Live send up by Gilda Radner. In 1997, her fourth decade in television, she created and hosted The View, a format that's been much copied since. We forced our staff writer, Barbara Walters, to go to Paris. To Walters started in television behind the scenes as a writer and producer, notably on NBC's Today in the 1960s. She regularly appeared on camera as what was called a Today Girl, but wasn't officially made a co-host until 1974, the first woman to hold that title. She jumped to ABC in 1976, lured by a big salary and a seat at the evening news anchor desk. And Barbara Walters. While co-hosting ABC's 2020, her interviews became a venue for public figures dealing with unwelcome notoriety. In 1999, Monica Lewinsky broke her silence by sitting down with Walters after the political storm over her affair with President Bill Clinton. It remains one of the most watched television news interviews ever, with some 74 million viewers. Walters was slowed in 2010 by heart surgery and, four years later, retired from The View. But she continued to do big interviews. Did you just wake up one day and say, I'd like to be president? One of her final subjects in 2015 was then-presidential candidate Donald Trump. After spending decades in front of the camera, Walters largely stayed out of public view in her final years. When she died, she was 93 years old.